What's up guys, in today's video, we go to the sandbar on beautiful Sunday fun day, hang out with some of our fans, then we go and check our stone crab traps, and I just caught the biggest stone crab of my entire life. This video starts now. Welcome back to the video, guys. Actually, let us know how you like that new intro we've been using. It's our new logo, obviously, and our new uh, graphics, so go ahead and comment down below. But we need to open up this trap, and we need to fill it with some stone crab bait. It's been a while since we put any bait in these things. We've been super busy, did a lot of traveling last month. I like to put a zip tie on my traps, mainly as a sense of security for myself, just so I know if somebody actually has robbed my trap or played with it or whatever. It's just something I like to do. Oh my gosh! The biggest stone crab of my entire life is sitting in this trap right now, and I haven't checked them in about five weeks. Check this out, dude. Oh my goodness, this is a great way to start the video, y'all. I don't know if that's bad luck or good luck. Oh my gosh! Look at that monster! What? I can't believe he's in here. Usually when you let your trips, when you let your traps, I'm so excited. When you let your traps sit for so long, a lot of the times you end up coming to the trap with nothing in it. But we checked them the last time, which I said about five weeks ago, but we did not refill them with bait. We just put them back in the water for when we can come back another day and check them and pull the traps in a timely manner. But this monster must have found a hiding spot and he is chilling in there. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, we haven't even started crabbing yet. <laughs> this is a great sign. <laughs> that is a jumbo claw. Oh baby, sick. Sizzle, we're not supposed to be crabbing today. We're just filling traps. What the with, heck? With bait. The fish, fish gods are being good to me. That's a full That's grown ridiculous. body, giant, giant claws. That's crazy. Holy crap. Dude, that's wild. Watch this. She's catching crabs without any bait. Yes. She's, fishing on, she's over here crabbing on credit and, and cashing in. Yes. You only Jeff Sizzle can do that. You have them by the, the, the back legs like this, they can't grab you. They get him in the sun. Even though he is trying really sun. hard to grab me. You can see that. You see I don't blame him, Sizzle. See what he's doing with his claw? <laughs> he's like reaching back around me. You see the apron? That's a male, a giant male <laughs> with original claws. He has full grown claws on there. Those have never been taken from him in his life. But that would be a jumbo sized claw in the restaurant. That's his crusher claw. That's his terror claw. And you can really see the key difference between this guy since he's so large compared to the other, the other creatures and the other crabs that are here. I mean, that's the biggest one of the season so far, baby. And he's showing you, he's showing off his claws. Good thing they're mine now. You think they're going to my, they're going in my belly. stomach right now. <laughs> <laughs> to do the what first? All right, time for the crab disclaimer. I wasn't going to do this today because we're just putting bait in there, but I'll get it out of the way. First off, we have a whole bunch of how to, how to cook and all kinds of great stuff. If you missed anything today, I'll put a link to all those videos up there. And you can also just Google our sizzle stone crabs in Florida or whatever, and they all pop up. We have a million of them. It's awesome. But the stone crab disclaimer in Florida, you're allowed to take both claws, okay, if they're legal size. We only take one claw uh, because we just think that's a little humane and a lot of people yell at us if we take both claws. So that, <laughs> that's the situation. Yeah, that was a joke last time when I said I was taking both claws. But anyway, so you're allowed to take two. The crab just You only now. take one. The claws grow back in about a year, depends on how old they are, how much they molt and, you know, and shed and, and regrow. And uh, if they have no claws, they become scavengers. There's some actual, someone was telling us, some sciencey guy was telling us actually, that it's better to take both claws because then they don't think that they can fight our sizzle. Did you hear this or did you tell me this? No. And then, uh, and then they don't get in battles because if they get in a battle with one claws, you know, they're going to lose the battle. Right. So if they have no claws, they just hide and scavenge. Right. And I like to say, you know, fish don't have arms either. So right. they, and they live fine. So the crabs are fine with no arms. Right. We've caught plenty in the traps with no arms. They yeah. can get around. They do the same exact thing as a normal crab would. Um, the claws just give them a little bit of an advantage. And again, when they have, they don't have those claws, they think differently. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's that story. All right, let's get to the crab. All right, here we go. Shown this in many videos. Going to show you again. You fold in their big claw, their smaller claw, the one you don't want to take. That is a really big claw, so I'm going to do my best to try to not make sure it doesn't pinch me. It's huge. He has a huge body. Take a hold of this claw. You're really not supposed to stab them or anything. Like I've heard stories where you stab them and they release the claw and all this stuff. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to mess or, or harass the crab. You just want to break the claw and let them go. So downward motion and break it right off. You can see that was a clean cut, clean break right there. That is a freaking toad of a, of a claw right there. I'm gonna let him go. 
Or just as a, fill that pot up. Papa was hungry for those claws now. <laughs> With what? What'd you say? I said fill those claws up. Pa I mean, fill that pot up. Papa wants to go home and eat those crab yes. claws. I'm, okay, I'm, so that, so we're using carcasses. Just we're, you know, making use of the things we had. That is a jumbo Spanish mackerel carcass right there. Really oily fish seems to do the trick for me. I know everybody has different, you know, ideas of what to use for crab bait, etc. But this is what I like to use. This is what works. Got some mondo works? mullet going in there. Mondo mullet. We Not also mullet. have some delicious, hog legs. delicious pompano fillets as well. Yeah, and we get a lot of questions a lot online about you guys catch so many fish, what do you do with them all? Well, honestly, we release like most of the fish, like every fish we caught today, we released. Yep. Right, like five snook, a tarpon. Yep. Uh, even the grunt and some bunch of mangoes she caught. Yeah. And uh, you know, but we eat fish like two or three times a week. Really, mostly when you guys see us eating on a captain cook, that's the only time we're really eating fish. And then, uh, and we get if we have a lot of extra, like we caught twenty five crappies the other day. Like we give to our neighbors, our friends, and stuff too. You know, so. Uh, yep. But we don't waste any fish. You know, we recycle it into into our crab pots. I actually just bought a compost. So you just bought a compost, you know, so we're not wasting any fish, you know, I'm just, just saying. So, and fishermen are like the best conservationists. So uh, when people online, like who don't know about fishing, like you, like we all do, they start saying stuff, you know, they don't know what they're talking about, you know. Sizzle likes to fill them up to the brim, oh my Lord. If I can. <laughs> the more the merrier. The more stink in the water, the longer the time the crabs have to find the trap. All right, this is, trap is loaded up. Going over. We're gonna come back. Well, we're gonna let them soak probably 48 to 72 hours, and we'll see you when we come back to check them. Four days later. Welcome back, guys. We missed you. Yeah. It's time to go check those traps. It's uh, when we put them in Thursday. Yeah, four days ago. Today is Sunday. It's Sunday Fun Day. Mhm. Mm and uh, we'll load up the boat. Well, three days ago. And we're gonna pick up Silent Frank. Yeah. And that's it. We got our land sharks. Yeah. Ready to go. Brian thinks we have too much gear. He's lazy. <laughs> We need all this stuff. Everything's, an Everything's like a big deal. We need it. All right. We're going to go self-quarantine on the water and check our traps. Exactly. Everybody will be on the water, too. Yeah. It's okay. It's good. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Sizzle. What are you doing, Puddin? Tell me to talk to your boyfriend. I'm waiting for you for 10 minutes. Let's go. That's not accurate. Let's go. Still waiting for you. Oh my gosh. See any spots? Even there's one right oh there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not one. Why is... Roots are dirty. All right. This Crowded. Place is packed. It has not like been like this in months. It's insane. Woo, Sunday fun day. I got a land shark flag. All right, y'all, we made it to our local sandbar, which is Beer Can Island. We used to hang out here quite a bit, but it is absolutely packed, and we have a high tide, too, and there's so many people here. Just goes to show you everybody has off work and is enjoying this beautiful Florida day. Everybody likes warm weather. This is the most boats I've seen in months. We just got to the sandbar. We already have a bunch of fans hanging out with us and I'm about to do some giveaways here. But first, what are you guys' names? Tell them. Jackson, Harry, and Jaden. Jackson, and what? And Jaden. Jaden. All right, so what did you want to say to everybody on YouTube? Um, add me on Snapchat at J-A-D-Y-N-E-7-7. There you go. Follow them on Snapchat, y'all. Yeah, All right, so here we go. We're going to give them some stuff. We got some hats for the girls. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I got some soft plastics here from Gambler that they can use if they're gonna bass fish or saltwater fish or whatever, but that's one for you and one for you. And I got koozies, koozies for you. There you go. More koozies. Doing it. <laughs> you got two each, there you go. I, I, I guess I can give them koozies. <laughs> there you go. It's not beer, but it's, you can put soda in there. There you go, what's that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Shout out to Lisa Guzzi and Jason Canas. I know you how much you love them. Woo! All right. So it's awesome hanging out with the fans here. And again, if you guys see us on the water, make sure you say hi. You get some free stuff. We made it to our first trap, y'all. And it's a glorious afternoon today on Sunday Fun Day. Hanging out with fans, just chilling. And now that we got a couple land sharks in us, now it's time to check our traps. Well, actually, I have a land shark in me. Ryan did not drink, by the way. But I'm gonna pull it up. We're gonna see what we got. Like you, like you saw, we really loaded these up. 
few days ago, so I'm excited to check the first one. Ooh, there's a big stone crab on it. Oh, he just came right off. Oh my gosh. Oh, he was just climbing on the side of the trap. See what we've got. Oh, I feel stuff. Oh, I see stuff. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got some keepers in there. Heck yeah, two solid stone crabs. By the way guys, these hardtail catfish, or hardhead catfish, they're the worst crab baits. Do not use them. Keeper. Here's how it's done. Spicy little crab folding that other claw. I like to do it standing up. Give it a little downward motion, an inward motion, and it should break right off, just like so. He's good to go. You immediately release the crab. You're not allowed to possess any other stone crab's bodies or just a claw, a keeper claw. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy. Nice one. Nice big body on that guy. Nice big crusher claw. Most crabs are light handed, by the way, y'all. All right, taking his big claw. Trap one down. Couple more to go. Well, a lot more to go. All right, guys, so we had a couple awesome fans scream at us while we were checking the first trap. They said we love their videos. We're going to give them some stuff. We're going to hook them up. We got some koozies. Oh, awesome. And then I just got a bunch of like soft plastics that you guys can fish with. Nice to meet you. That's Hi, awesome. Nice oh, yeah, we just watched your shark video. It's awesome. Great. Thank you. We're actually going shark fishing on Captiva next week. Oh, so nice. actually tomorrow. That's what am I talking fun. about? Tomorrow. Nice. So stay tuned for more videos. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys for being fans. Oh, of course. Thank you for watching. And uh, cool. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> awesome. Come on, old man. Reach. It's the boat turn. Forget it. Boat turns. Frank. Frank. Boat, boat yes. turn. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Thank you. I see claws. All right. So, so far, it seems like those carcasses that were really oily that we used are working. But let's open it up. Here we go, y'all. Oh, yeah. We hit the mother load, and there's still carcasses in there, as you can see. Catfish, of course. For whatever reason, stone crabs do not like catfish. I don't like catfish. I saw some comments from you guys earlier, too, about why I don't like catfish. Reason being is because I've been stabbed by these guys before, and it hurts. And I still have, like, problems with my uh, leg as far as my feeling goes. I just hate those things. Remove the catfish. We have five crabs in there. It looks like we might have a keeper claw too. And this guy's got no claws. All right, this guy's got a nice big body, no claws. Shows you he's doing just fine. You see this one, how like purplish dark colored it is? That's a totally different species of stone crab compared to the ones that are a little browner and lighter on their bodies. But you can see that it's a pretty one. Different color, a different species. Not exactly sure what it is. All right. Beautiful female with the keeper claw. Look at her eggs. Full of eggs, you immediately release them. This claw is a keeper. I mean, just it's just hitting the mark, but we're gonna let him go. Okay, shot number three coming up. All right, here we go. Let's open it up, see what we got. Oh yeah, we hit another mother load. Hopefully they all don't have eggs and we got some keeper claws in there. These baits worked. I need to go pompano fishing and Spanish mackerel fishing again ASAP. That keeps. I take the top portion of the claw and I make a stone crab necklace with it. As you can see, I'm currently wearing one. I will make you this exact claw on a necklace if you order it on my website. This guy's name is Landshark Larry. If you write that in the comments in the notes section of the order, I will use this exact claw and make you a stone crab necklace, a lucky stone crab necklace. Check it out down in the description below. Let's break it off. Renewable resource, does it get much better than that? And I get to make custom stone crab claws for y'all because no two crab claws are alike. There we go. Sweet. So that little piece will be your necklace. Please let go. Gosh, I have to fight a crab. Ridiculous. All right, not a keeper, let's let him go. Two keepers out of that trap. As you can see, all the traps are full of crabs. There's some of them have keepers, some of them don't. Right down my boot. Maybe when you're a little baby, you could throw it further. God, I didn't want to throw it.
throw it further. Well, do you want to get in your boot? <laughs> Next trap coming in. Pick it up. And we got, we got robbed. We got one that is not a keeper. Darn. Come on, Frank. Frank. Buried. This boat is a, a really bad angle for picking up traps. You're aware weak for picking up traps. This is one of those things that girls are supposed to be able to do, like with the chair thing against the wall. Do you need Frank to help you? No. <laughs> what happened to you? This one's really heavy. You need more spinach. You may, yeah, more land shark land for you. Land shark! <laughs> Give me a land shark. I need some more energy. Let your land shark is Darcy's spinach. No, a couple of my traps have a little more concrete than normal, so a couple of them are like a few pounds heavier, and this one is one of them. Trust me, it is. Brian doesn't pick up traps. How does he know? <laughs> Frank says he has a point there. That's why Frank's not able to talk. I do. I <laughs> do. Frank, you be quiet. Or else I'm Frank. And this boat just had a bad angle for picking up these traps. And Brian tells me I'm a baby for using my little hook thing, which is it's missing. I don't know where I'm at. All right, here we go. Action. We got some. We might have a keeper and some catfish. That one's got no crawl claws. This is a keeper. This is a beautiful, nice keeper claw. This one is Grizzly George. Write in the comments of the order. <laughs> Now Frank asked the question, honey, do you always take the left one? Tell them about, don't they yeah. have like different hands or whatever? Even? Yes, so they have a crusher and a tearing claw. You can see this guy has a regrow coming back, this tiny little baby claw. They're generally right-handed. All crabs are right-handed with their crusher claw. This one on the, up, on the other hand is a left-handed crab. This one has a crusher claw in the left hand. And usually the crusher claw is bigger and meatier than their tearing claw. The crusher claw is used to actually crush whatever they're gonna eat and then they use their tearing claw to pick it apart and put it in their mouth and eat it. So this one's a left-handed crab. The majority of them are right-handed. So he's lefty like me. That one broke easy. Heavy trap. All right, on to the next. Some stuff in there. Let's see if we got some crabs. I see a crab. Oh boy, oh boy. Brian's blocking it with a shadow. Crabs! Some smaller size crabs in there, but you know, it's a target species. There may be a keeper on one of those guys. We're just gonna have to see. Not bad though, not a bad haul so far. Last crab out of here. We only got one keeper claw out of it, and we got one more crab, crab pot to go. Final trap coming up, y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, this might be the biggest one I have ever seen in my life and I haven't even opened it yet. I'm gonna freak out. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. The final trap has the final best goodies of the season so far, 2020. Check this out. Wait till you see this thing. Oh, we hit the mother load. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that freaking stud. That is a stone crab, y'all. That is a stone crab right there. Holy cow. Oh my God. Dude, that is 100% the biggest one I've ever seen alive. I have seen some couple big ones over the years. We've been doing this three years now, but he's, he's every bit of the biggest one I've ever seen alive. That thing is massive. That one too. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unreal, y'all. And you can see they cleared, like there's not one bone left, there's nothing left in there. Crazy. That is crazy. Wait till I pick up the sucker. Holy crap! Yep. We got a keeper, we got a left-handed crab. And I believe the two in there, the massive, massive, massive crabs, they both have left-handed crusher claws. Biggest crab ever with a left hand. Pretty wild. Dude, the thing of, look at the size of the thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Dude, look at that thing. That is a full grown stone crab. I mean, you can see how massive the body is. That's pretty close to as big as they get. Just look at that claw on her. No, it's a male. Look at the claw on that thing. 
But you know what? I'm gonna be a good person and I'm gonna let him go with his one claw, even though this would be a delicious meal for us. And I would make you guys a stone crab claw, but stone crab claw necklace, but we got another one to keep. Let's let him go. YouTube life, Darcy's gonna grab with no gloves so you can see it better. Ah! <laughs> gonna be insane, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that claw. Look how long that point is that I'm gonna make a stone crab necklace out of. All right, if any of you guys want this jumbo, this, this is definitely a jumbo. This is an extra jumbo size stone crab claw necklace. This guy's name is gonna be, what? This guy's name is Smith. For Smith's, you, for Smith's products. Yes, if this guy's, this guy's name is Smith, if you comment in the order section that you want Smith's claw, I will give it to you. Yeah. Make sure you order fast because the jumbos are gonna go for a little more just because they're super rare to find. Yeah. Dang. It's way bigger than my finger. <laughs> Both keepers, we're gonna take the big one from them. Crazy guys, crazy. I've been doing this for so long, guys, that like I'm just blown away at the size of the sheer size of that claw. Incredible. All right, here we go, guys. Just took a couple pictures with this guy just because it's the biggest stone crab I've ever caught. Can't wait to measure this up to a land shark tall boy. It's gonna be bigger. I can't even get my hand around him, so massive. Here we go. Crazy. Let's let him go. <laughs> Water emergency. Huge mess, some sort of emergency thing going on at the ramp. It's not coronavirus. Uh, we're gonna go to the other ramp. I'm gonna meet Darcy at the other ramp. It's taking too long. The other ramp, the other ramp like a mile down the road. All right, holy cow, guys. We're gonna do an official measurement on this crab. This is the biggest one Darcy ever caught. But at the other Lantana ramp, it was a big mess. I, I was telling, I don't wanna get into the whole thing but it ended up when I yelled at the guy, you just got schooled by a girl. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got schooled by a girl. Yeah, oh, it, it was, was really unfair. I don't really like the boat ramps at all. They're dealing with people. That's why we don't fish on weekends. The best time to learn how to back up your boat is on the weekends, apparently. So it was, boy, it was bad, but I'm, I'm not gonna get into it, but Darcy totally schooled these dudes, like two dudes and I, the one guy actually yelled at me to get out of the spot or whatever, and I did. And it literally took him over 15 minutes to get the boat out, and we still got my boat out in first. I don't want to dwell on the ramp too much, but I yelled at him like three times, you just got schooled by a girl. You just got schooled by <laughs> New York style. I want New York lawyer on him. Let's get these crabs. All right, let's get, the, let's get the measurement. Whoa. It's literally bigger than a tall boy. That's a tall boy. The whole entire claw. I mean, this part is pretty dang close <laughs> to the size of Tall Boy. That is a giant, giant stone crab yeah, claw. Let's measure They're not it. big like a lot of other crabs out there, but I mean, it's massive. Okay, so here we go. It's a little curved, but we're gonna see how big he is, and I'm gonna tell you what the what the official record is. Five and basically five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. And world record is five and three quarters. Whoa, dude! What's your the biggest, biggest ever? one recorded on? Uh, biggest one recorded on record right now is five inches three quarter length this bottom length what was your personal best this is our personal best oh nice right here what was it before um just under five wow. was the biggest one we ever caught put it in your hand i mean for me for me show to me. catch show that me. that size show me hand for me to catch that size here nice. in boynton is really special really rare it's unbelievable y'all unbelievable nice this job sizzle is a rare crab for indeed all right, five got, and a quarter. We got so much going on in this video. We got to wrap it up. It's going to be 25, yeah. 20, 45 minutes long. Big league world record for me. Ooh, that's Woo. great. Kill All right. It. So we had a great day. We loaded the traps. We went to the sandbar. We took out Frank. They had land sharks. Yes. We saw fans. Yes. We slayed the crabs. We had a personal best. This is like the best day ever. Best day ever. And you didn't have to go in the ocean even. Oh, beautiful. And I told the guy that, and Darcy schooled the guy by going down the ramp and we pulled our boat out. And like, we do it like, I'm talking so fast. We do it like commercial speed, commercial guy speed. We do, we do. <laughs> I just freaking back that thing in, he pushed it right up on the thing. I almost hit my head, I was so I mad. Why'd you have I was head furious, like I was furious, I don't know. 
I was yelling unbelievable at the anyways, whatever you guys whatever. want to hear. All right, so thank you so much Look, for watching this games. video. Until the next one, follow your dreams and, and keep, keep on catching, catching with our lights. Yeah, these are the best lights. Buy them. Amazon store. Amazon store.